Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite phases of the menstrual cycle, which is the follicular phase. But first, really quickly, I think I should probably go over the different phases of the menstrual cycle for those of you that don't know or don't quite remember. So first off, we have your menstrual phase, which is your period, which is the first part of your menstrual cycle. And then from there, you move into your follicular phase, which lasts up until a few days before ovulation. And that's because after that is your ovulatory phase, which lasts a few days before and a few days after ovulation. And while ovulation is a very small event within the realm of your entire cycle, it kind of gets its own phase. And then your final phase is your luteal phase, which lasts after you ovulate until the start of your next period. I could go on and on about different things that happen at different points in the different phases and all that jazz, but today I just kind of wanted to zero in on the follicular phase. And that's because of one particular thing that I noticed this past cycle and what that was is if you do your menstrual phase right which you know take it slow listen to your body and that sort of stuff and that's mostly what i talk about when i talk about different things in your phases but if you do your menstrual phase right your follicular phase and your ovulatory phase are such a great time in life to be alive and that is because during your follicular phase and your ovulatory phase it almost feels as if you're on adderall or at least that's what came to mind this last particular cycle. Adderall is a drug that is used by people with ADHD to help pay attention, stay on task, focus, and more, I mean, there's a lot more that goes into it than that, and it's taken by a lot of people that don't have ADHD or don't actually necessarily need to use it, and they use it more as like a cognitive function drug to get stuff done when they need to kind of crack down, and I think of, you know, college students, I think of people at work, um, people that have like very stressful jobs where they have to be very in it and very productive for many, many hours and that kind of stuff. Personally, I have only ever taken Adderall twice, both times in college. I think it was like midterms or finals, probably one of those two things. And the particular memory that I have of taking Adderall, I took it and then I sat down on a bed and I worked on essays, projects, studying, for 13 hours straight and I can be very productive and focused when I need to be but I've never had that so like singular focused um, attention and it was just it was incredible and it was what I needed at the time and I'm not going to go into discussing Adderall or anything like that I just want to talk about like that sensation of just being very focused and tunnel vision into whatever you're working on in that particular moment and that's because for whatever reason this past cycle I had that same sensation of just being very focused and productive and I just felt like I was cranking out my work and it felt amazing I was just having one of those in the zone, super productive, focused, like productive days. And I jokingly thought to myself oh, as I sat here alone, wow, this feels like I'm on Adderall. And it just kind of got me to thinking. And I said, you know what? It kind of does feel like that at different points. And it's always during my follicular or ovatory phase when I like feel that sensation. I talk about the need to slow down and to listen to your body on your period much more than I talk about any of the other phases. I do mention them and I bring up different topics, but I mostly zero in on your menstrual phase. But I love a good follicular and ovulatory phase. Those are probably my two favorite phases. I love my period and my menstrual phase for different reasons and my luteal phase for a different reason as well. But your follicular and ovulatory phase is when you can feel jazzed about life and you feel like you can take on the world. I'm able to sit down and be super focused and productive. I'm more social and I have more of a desire to get out of the house and be active. I'm better at articulating what I'm thinking and feeling. And overall, I just really feel like the best version of myself during these phases. But the trick here is this doesn't last forever and you can't push it further than where it's gonna go. And it all kind of rests on this agreement that you're going to do what you're supposed to do during your period and you're going to listen to your body and you're going to take a step back, you're going to sleep more, you're gonna do things slower, whatever your body needs in that particular time. If you listen to your body and you give it what it's asking for, great things are gonna happen throughout the rest of your cycle. And I have definitely seen that time and time again in my cycle once learning about the different phases and you know, kind of what happens in each. I've really noticed the differences between the four phases. 
And so now I'm curious, what is your favorite phase of your menstrual cycle? Um, is there one that you feel like you're struggling with or a couple or have you never heard about the phases before? If you're curious and you want to learn more about your cycle, I have a chart your cycle course, which I do every six weeks. The next session starts on April 18th. So you want to get signed up by the 17th. And it's a great way to learn more about your cycle, learn how to tell where you are in your cycle and it is geared towards those who want to use it as a natural birth control method, but you definitely learn so much more about yourself beyond just that when you learn about your cycle. All right, guys, that's what I have to say today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Femhead for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.